Airbus has already struck gold with the A321, its best-selling aircraft recently, thanks to its remarkable range. But the European manufacturer promises that the surprise is always behind. They have revealed an exciting new aircraft program, even though it isn't sure about its feasibility. So what is Airbus's new aircraft program? Could it be more successful than XLR? Let's find out the answer. The initial ideas for this new aircraft began to take shape in the late 2010s and early 2020s, when Airbus actively sought solutions to meet the growing demands of the market. Introduced as an extended version of the A321, this new aircraft is named the A322. It is not just a larger variant, but much more than that. Its main goal is to optimize passenger capacity and improve operational efficiency, solving the difficult problem for airlines that love the A321, but are still hesitant about space and seating capacity. The aviation industry is aiming for a new era of travel, where sustainable development goals are a top priority. Currently, the Airbus A322 is still in the research and development phase. Notably, it carries great potential to continue expanding the highly successful A320 aircraft line. And surely, and it will continue to shine even brighter with the A321. Once unveiled, this aircraft isn't just expected to make waves. It could redefine the game, surpassing even the A321 in impact. So, what makes the A322 stand out? How will it compare to its predecessor? Let's find out now. First, regarding passenger capacity. Analysts speculate that the A3 the 22nd of may have an extended fuselage to accommodate four more rows of seats, allowing it to carry about 24 more passengers. This will bring the length to a widely rumored 50 meters, making it a potential successor to the Boeing 757-300. When compared to the A321 XLR, of course, with this new aircraft Airbus, will seek to increase the seating capacity of the A322. Through this increase, the airline will try to surpass the seating capacity of the A321, even if only slightly. However, the actual specific increase in passenger capacity will vary and depend on how airlines utilize the extended fuselage, whether through premium seating or basic economy. The A322 could theoretically provide airlines with a larger capacity solution for busy, medium-haul routes. Thus, it would be an attractive alternative to larger wide-body aircraft while maintaining accuracy. Secondly, perhaps one of the most notable aspects of the A322 is its other radical improvements such as new composite wings and advanced engine options. These factors are considered crucial to the development or upgrade of any new passenger aircraft and the long-term success of the program. It suggests that the new aircraft will cater to a new market focused on sustainability and efficiency, reducing factors such as emissions and serving longer routes without incurring the costs associated with wide-body jets. Although the A321 XLR and the conceptual A322 are both single-aisle, narrow-body aircraft, their target markets and design philosophies diverge significantly. The XLR excels in long-range operations, linking smaller cities spanning continents or even major cities separated by vast distances, all while maintaining efficiency. The A322, in contrast, is geared towards maximizing capacity and efficiency on shorter routes. This difference in focus necessitates a more extensive redesign for the A322. In addition, the XLR's development leverages the existing A321 NEO platform, facilitating a smoother transition and contributing to its positive market reception. The A322, in contrast, faces a more complex engineering challenge, making it a higher risk, higher reward endeavor with the potential for substantial gains if airlines adopt it. Airbus is in the process of exploring possibilities for the future of aviation, including the development of hydrogen-powered aircraft. The company has not yet made any firm commitments to any specific direction, especially as they are studying both conventional and hydrogen-based platforms for aircraft slated for release in the mid-2030s. This flexibility allows this aircraft maker to assess and adjust its strategy based on technological advances and market demand. Even if this new aircraft program project does not come to fruition, the ideas and technologies developed for it could continue to be used in Airbus's next generation of commercial aircraft. Do you think this aircraft will be welcomed as much as the XLR when it is officially launched? Leave your comments below. However, despite their potential, new aircraft programs always face inevitable challenges, especially in the early stages. 
The A322 is no exception. The first and biggest challenge is the feasibility of the program. As of 2025, the A322 is still in the concept phase. Although preliminary studies have shown potential, Airbus has not announced any specific plans for further development stages, and instead is focusing resources on a range of other programs. The most recent notable discussions regarding this new Airbus aircraft took place in the early 2020s, focusing on issues of feasibility and market viability. Since then, the program seems to have made no significant progress, and this aerospace giant has simply shifted its resources to other projects, both current and future. Although such strategic ideas may play an important role in the aircraft maker's long-term development, realizing them in the near future is considered infeasible by both the manufacturer and analysts. Therefore, the release of the A322 is not planned for the near future. However, this should not be interpreted as ruling out the possibility of developing a similar aircraft and related technologies in the future, especially as the project has garnered considerable attention. Secondly, in addition to the challenges regarding feasibility, another significant obstacle for the A322 program lies in the massive amount of engineering work required to turn this idea into reality. Balancing groundbreaking innovations with cost considerations is always an extremely difficult task. Even a competitor like Boeing has publicly acknowledged that they do not believe that existing technologies are sufficient to provide a significant leap in performance to justify the enormous investments required. Furthermore, this aircraft will require more extensive design changes compared to its predecessor. The A321 XLR, including a completely new wing, improved landing gear system, and a refined fuselage structure. These changes not only significantly increase development costs, but also entail considerable risks for an aircraft manufacturer, especially in the current market context, where venturing to invest in such an ambitious project may not be a prudent decision. Finally, another factor to consider is the resounding success of the XLR in the market. This aircraft is currently the darling of many airlines around the world, with over 500 orders already recorded, despite only making its first delivery in December 20th, 24. The A321 XLR seems to be a more optimal solution, as it is built on the platform of an aircraft that has been proven reliable and efficient, while also offering significant improvements in range giving airlines a safer and more economical option in the narrow-body aircraft segment. Although the A322 project, as initially envisioned, has not yet reached the production stage, the ideas and advanced technologies developed for it have been and are shaping the future of Airbus. The aerodynamic improvements, new materials, more efficient engine systems, and passenger space optimization solutions researched for this aircraft may be applied to the company's next commercial aircraft lines. This suggests that even if the A322 is not launched under that name, the manufacturer's efforts and dedication to this project will still bring great value to the aviation industry. Furthermore, Airbus's current initiatives, such as the Hydrogen Fuel Aircraft Development Program, clearly demonstrate the company's commitment to incorporating the most advanced technologies to meet the increasingly stringent requirements of airlines and governments worldwide. This aircraft maker understands that to maintain its leading position in the market, it needs to continuously innovate and improve its products. Another important factor driving Airbus towards the future is the need to replace the A320 NEO aircraft line, the company's golden goose. This aircraft line has been and is the backbone of its commercial aircraft division, but it is also time to upgrade and improve it to meet the new challenges of the market. Moreover, Taking advantage of the difficulties that competitors such as Boeing are facing is also a great opportunity for the European aircraft maker to consolidate its position. Therefore, the possibility of an aircraft similar to the A322 appearing in the future as part of the next generation of narrow-body aircraft from Airbus is entirely possible. With constant advances in materials, propulsion systems, and aerodynamics, it is fully capable of developing an aircraft that combines the core elements being researched today into a real product that meets market expectations and brings profits to the company. In the meantime, the A321 XLR will serve as an important bridge, helping airlines expand the range of their single-aisle fleets. The XLR not only offers a longer range, but also optimizes performance and saves fuel, helping airlines compete more effectively in the market. Furthermore, 
The company also plans to increase production for other commercial aircraft lines to meet the growing demand of the market and strengthen its position as one of the world's leading aircraft manufacturers. Next, this is news about the military sector. The French Defense Procurement Agency, DGA, has awarded a contract to Airbus Defense and Space for a study and risk assessment of a future maritime patrol aircraft program. This 24-month contract follows previous studies on architecture and feasibility, demonstrating France's commitment to enhancing its maritime patrol capabilities. The Airbus A321 Megapascals is envisioned as a flying frigate capable of performing a wide range of missions. Jean-Brice Dumont, Executive Vice President of Airbus Defense and Space, believes the A321 Megapascals has all the assets to meet the needs of the French Maritime Patrol Force, while also affirming it as a sovereign solution guaranteeing autonomy, readiness, and reliability. This new study will pave the way for the development and production of Maritime Patrol aircraft by the end of 2026, including wind tunnel testing. In case you don't know yet, the MPA is a militarized version of the A321 XLR designed to meet all the requirements of the French Navy, from anti-submarine and anti-ship warfare to intelligence gathering. The goal is to replace the Atlantique II fleet around 2030 to 2040. The aircraft boasts long range and high maneuverability, and is equipped with radar, sonar systems, electronic warfare capabilities, a magnetic anomaly detector, MAD, and a self-protection system, along with anti-submarine and anti-ship weaponry. In addition, the renowned A320 family ensures the A321 MPA's availability, reliability, and low maintenance costs. One thing is certain, Airbus has experience in converting commercial aircraft to military use, with the A330 MRTT as a prime example, is also a key factor for the program's success.